worker and you're just going in there to toe the party line, get the hell out of the booth. I, I agree completely. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it should pointless. be legal for you to vote. You but should. like picking your nose in public, you're not going to get arrested for it, but you wouldn't do you it. You should yeah. have to pre-qualify. They should have a couple no-brainer questions in there, Brent, that you should have to pre-qualify in order to, to cast that ballot. Yeah. Like for instance, Vote no you know, on five. <clears throat> okay. I, now I can answer you why uh, to a lot of incumbents get reelected, especially to, to the House, is because everybody hates Congress except their congressman. Right. Right. That's right. That's why. Well, in but closing. But that's crazy and stupid. Can that, we just no, you're right. That? No, you're in, right. Absolutely in, right. In closing, because we've gone very, very long and we've gotten nothing done at all because we've been <laughs> sorry, arguing together. And now, we're, and, and, now we, and now we all hate each other. So it just, it just, <laughs> uh, but you guys, listen, man, please, if you got an opportunity through the Daily Caller or through you, whatever type of forum you have, please consider uh, Charlie Crist over Rubio because I think Rubio is the equivalent to Barack Obama. He's sexed up. He's a change. He's a breath of fresh air. Uh, in this very, very much of this conservative witch hunt that we have down here. And he's anti-personal freedom. Because, you know, Charlie Crist had our cut from the from the, the Seminole Indians gambling come into the state. And Rubio, being Speaker of the House, is one of the main people that stopped it. Yeah. So you he's know, anti-personal yeah. freedom. He, he doesn't want you to be able to go to the Hard Rock, you know, Indian base or, you know, a, 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 you know a casino and be So able, you guys are like single-issue <clears throat> Indian gambling voters? Yeah. No, personal freedom. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, no, I'd be $500 no. richer right the, now. The, the bottom line is this, my friend. I, if I'm walking into that gambling establishment upon my own free will, I should be able to, and they've established the fact that I can gamble in some capacity, why do they have to fragment and, and treat me like an idiot that I can't handle blackjack over slot machines? Well, that's a, that's a good. I mean, I, I, I'm, I don't, walking, I'm not if, disagreeing. If with I'm you. walking in there, my friend, and I'm gonna, you know, and I got, you know, three hundred dollars to spend, and I've already earmarked that money to spend, Brent. And okay, and they and they have they have a bunch of different ways on how I can spend that money through poker, uh, and through high low, and through you know high, high stakes slots. What is it that they have a couple other different ball uh, uh, games, i.e., craps and blackjack? Why are we fragmenting? Why are we fragmenting? That would be like you know what I'm going to allow marijuana, but only if it's smoked in a pipe and not rolled up as a joint. <laughs> you, if you got, it's, it's either all or none. Either you're going to gamble. Now what about pie gal? Fine. You know, I'm just saying, if you're going to allow gambling, you can't fragment it into into and, and specialize it. And it should and be none is, of Marco this is, Rubio's business. Exactly. I mean, you know, come on. Give me a break, and it's all I, about. I tend to agree with you, actually, but I still don't. You haven't answered the pie gal question. I could care less about pie gal. I don't even know what pie gal is. Pi, pie gal? Why are you pie gal to... is like the the greatest. In, uh, Why are you trying Chinese to trip me up? Gaming. Why are you trying to trip me up, bitch? <laughs> I don't know what pie gal is. Because <laughs> I was just in Vegas. He thinks watching it's a pie sorority. Gal. Yeah, pie, oh, yeah, it is pie gal, the newest craze of uh, Indiana State University. Sorority. No, 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 no. Not one Anglo has ever played pie gal. <laughs> I mean, it's legal. Fine. Have to be Chinese. Fine. I'm just saying, man. You know, I'm sick of the conservative. Brent, I would be more leaning towards conservative if they stopped if they stopped banging the Bible so much and tried to live behind Jesus and they just you know were fiscally conservative. You know, like uh, people ask me, what do you are? Well, you know what I am, Brent. I'm a conservative that believes in abortion. Is what I am. <laughs> it's exactly. Believes uh, in abortion. I'm a conservative who believes in abortions and doesn't want to go to church. So what <laughs> am I? Well, you know what? And I should be able to have my gun as well. Maybe I'm a liberal, Brent, who wants to carry a gun. You're a, you're a rugged white man. You know, maybe that's what I am, Brent. I think I'm actually more of a liberal who wants to be to wants to be able to tote as many guns as I can legally tote around. And you know, I th you know what? I think Tucker talks about this quite a lot. We need to stop painting ourselves into a boxes A and B. Yeah. Oh, I agree with yeah, that. Exactly. Except I'm happy to paint myself in the gun box. I, oh, agree hey, I like guns. I like a gun, but I like to be able to take a gun to my abortion clinic, you know, while I'm being fiscally conservative and not ha helping the rest of the world. So what am I? You know what Dude, I am? I'm a, are, uh, I'm a man. You're under arrest is what you are. I'm a man is what I am, bitch. I'm a man. I'm a hardworking 43-year-old tax and paying son of a bitch that wants to take my wife to get an abortion while I have my gun, Brent. Come on, and being, honey. And I'm being fiscally conservative and not sending money to Haiti. That's what I am, bitch. <laughs> Wow. So you want to have a, a abortions at gunpoint? I want to be able to have my gun in my car uh, that I'm legally that I'm legally registered to own a, 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 at the abortion clinic. I want my right to carry a gun. I want as many guns as I can possibly have. Yeah, abortions, guns, prostitution, gambling, and marijuana should all be legal. Man, and you guys got it down. We do, my friend. <laughs> we have got it down. That's exactly what we got. About Boy, that's we've... the weirdest platform I've ever heard. Say <laughs> uh, they say, what are you, Mr. Clem? I am a gun-toting conservative that doesn't like war, that wants to give my wife an abortion. It's her choice while being fiscally conservative and not helping other countries. Jeez. <laughs> He's a hybrid. 
I, I can vote. I can vote for that candidate. I, I know too. <laughs> Me too. I, I don't Manchin. see anything wrong with that. You know, what, Manchin, I am. A, I am a. I'm a. I'm a gun toting conservative who wants to be financially responsible uh, and not help other countries and help my own. And you know what? Make you be responsible for your own. For your own action. That's a change I could go for. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, me too. I'm in. That's a long bumper sticker. That, that is. That is a long bumper sticker. See, just, just a picture of my fat ass and my chubby cheeks. That's what I am, buddy. That's how I roll, kid. You guys are demented. We are. <laughs> we're real, and we're not fake like you, and we never wore a bow tie, and I've never worn a bow tie in my entire life except on your show that you made me wear. And I hate you for that. <laughs> That is so good. <laughs> anyway, man, hey, uh, daily, the, is, it the, the, is it Daily Caller? Or the, daily Caller, and if you go to our the, sports section, yeah, the call. lead story, the main story, is by one Brent Hatley. Real name, by the way. <laughs> real, and, real name. And who is going to be your senator that you endorse uh, for uh, the state senator, uh, I'm sorry, no, for the, the, the U.S. For the, for the U.S. senator uh, in Florida, the Republican uh, candidate will be, your choice will be, of course. Uh, I don't know. I don't get involved in primaries. Listen to me, bitch. That's the most important thing. The primaries went. Let me show you. Let me show you lobbyists at its finest, Brent. You ready, Tucker? Either you support my candidate, or you're not going on my show again. Holy smokes! I love that Charlie Craig. Exactly. (laughs) That's lobbying. Touche, bitch. One handsome man. Touche on lobbying, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. See you next week, lover. See you guys. Bye now.